Hi, my name is Gavin Gear, and I'm a program manager in the device connectivity team in Windows. And today I'm going to show you a couple ways that Windows 8 takes advantage of motion sensors. Windows 8 uses the built-in 3D accelerometer sensor to measure the force due to gravity. With this capability, it can tell which direction is down. It can therefore rotate the contents of the screen between a portrait orientation and a landscape orientation. This only occurs when the device is inclined up off the flat and level plane. So if I take the device and make it level with respect to the surface of the earth, the screen will not rotate. For Windows 8, we've included powerful device capabilities and developer tools that expose motion sensors to Metro-style applications. Let's take a look at an example of one of these apps. So here we have a JavaScript-based Metro-style application that's using 3D accelerometer data to control the position of the steering wheel. We can turn the entire PC to simulate the turning of a real steering wheel. The steering wheel is responsive but we can see if I hold the device stationary that we've got a fair amount of jitter here. And that's due in part to noise from the accelerometer sensor. The traditional way to overcome this is to apply a low pass filter. So I can tap on that option and we can see right away that we don't have the jitter and noise. But we have imposed another problem, which is when we go to turn the steering wheel, it's now sluggish and not very responsive. 3D accelerometer sensors also have another inherent problem, and that's that if we incline the device down on a flat and level plane, the data is not uh, deterministic in terms of being able to control the position of the steering wheel. What we need to do is use data from multiple motion sensors, in this case an accelerometer, a gyro, and a magnetometer, in order to have those multiple sensors complement each other's strengths and weaknesses. So if I tap on the change input uh, option one more time, we can see here that with sensor fusion, we can actually retain the responsiveness. And if I hold the device steady, there's no jitter in the steering wheel. What's more, we can tilt the device down onto a flat and level plane and continue to have the wheel respond to these inputs. So I showed you a system level feature and an example of how a game would use motion sensors in Windows 8. So regardless of whether you're a developer or a consumer, there's exciting new capabilities for you to tap into in Windows 8.